This is my review of the Strandberg Bowden Prague NX6 Pliny Edition guitar. I've had this guitar for a few months now and I wanted to share more about it with you. We'll go over the specs, I'll share some sound clips, and I'll also share my thoughts and opinions on this guitar towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until then. So first, let's talk about the name of this guitar. Strandberg is obviously the guitar company. Bowden is the body shape of the guitar, so that's their double cut body. Prague is the line that this guitar belongs to within the Strandberg range. And NX is the version of the guitar, if you will. How I interpret that is like the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 13 or the Galaxy S22 versus the 23, things like that. Six strings, so six and Pliny edition. Pliny is an artist based out of Australia. And if you haven't heard of him, I highly recommend you check out his music. So that's what the name means. And now let's get into some specs on this guitar. Starting out, we've got a chambered mahogany body with a solid plain maple top and an Australian blackwood veneer on top of that. We've got a mahogany neck with Strandberg's Endure Neck profile, which I'll talk about a little bit later in this video. We've got a rich light fingerboard with a 20 inch fingerboard radius. We've got 24 stainless steel frets. We've got lumen lay side dots. And actually the moon inlay on the 12th fret is also lumen lay, so that's pretty cool. We've got a slight multi-scale with a 25 to 25 and a half inch scale length. We've got two humbuckers, Strandberg's um, tremolo system, and we've got a master volume knob that's not push-pull, so it's just the knob that turns. There's no tone control, and it's got a three-way pickup switch, which is pretty cool in my opinion because it's got the bridge position, it's got the neck position, but in the middle, it's not both pickups full. It's actually the pickups split, and I believe it's the neck screw and the bridge slug. So now that we've gone over the specs of this guitar, I'm going to share with you some sound clips through my rig, which by the way, it's just my guitar plugged into my Universal Audio Volt 2 audio interface. And for the gain tones, I'm using the Neural DSP SLO 100 plugin. And for the clean tones, I'm using the Neural DSP Tone King plugin. <laughs> So now that I've showed you how the guitar sounds through my rig, I want to quickly talk about the neck profile because it is quite unique in my opinion. This is Strandberg's design, Ola Strandberg's design. It's called the Endure Neck Profile. It is not a round profile. Pretty much what it is is it's flat surfaces that connect together, and it's supposed to make a it's supposed to make it a more comfortable playing experience and keep your thumb in like a flat position as it goes up and down the neck. 
Um, I've heard a lot of different opinions on this neck and ultimately that's what it's going to come down to is personal preference. Sometimes I really like the neck, sometimes I'm not quite feeling it and I'll play another one of my guitars, which is no problem. Um, I think that this is a super cool design and I appreciate that it is modern and it pushes the boundaries of guitar playing. But ultimately, that decision is going to be up to you whether or not you like it. And now I'm going to talk about things that I like and don't really appreciate and am neutral about when it comes to this guitar. So starting out with things that I like, I really appreciate how lightweight this guitar is. So for reference, I've got my PRS SE CE24 behind me and I was playing that guitar last night and by no means is that guitar heavy, but I was having some shoulder uh, some shoulder blade pain and I ended up taking that guitar off and putting this one on and I immediately didn't feel that pain anymore and it's just super lightweight and I appreciate that so much. Additionally, I appreciate the pickup controls because I used to just live in the bridge position but now I've been exploring the neck position in terms of clean tones and I also really like a split coil sound so having that option in the middle is really cool because I never really use both pickups in full so that is just super cool to me at least. The guitar also really stays in tune well so I don't have any issues with tuning stability but we're going to shift over to some of the things that I don't really appreciate about the guitar and it's not to say that they're cons because really this is the only guitar that I've tried that's a headless guitar with a trem system and I don't know if this is just something that happens with all of them but it's a floating tremolo system and obviously because there's no headstock there's no tuners up there the tuners are down here and when you go to tune it you have to make sure your arm is steady and you're not pushing up or down on it because otherwise you won't be tuning to the correct pitch you'll be tuning to the pitch that is shifted a little bit so that's just one thing to note if you do get this guitar it does come with this cool tool that you can use to um, stick in the pegs and then twist it that way so you don't have to use your fingers but just something to note. Another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of, and it actually comes down to the design of the tremolo on this bridge, which I looked at pictures and it doesn't seem like the fixed bridge versions of the Strandberg guitars have this issue, but because it's a two point tremolo, it's got these little bumps here. I'm gonna try to put it here so you can see it. It's got these like bumps there. And that's not the most comfortable when I'm alternate picking. When I'm just down picking, it feels fine, but I kind of turn my wrist a little bit when I alternate pick, and I don't really like the way that it feels against my wrist that way. I know that's just based on how I play, but that's just something to note as well in case you're similar to me in that regard. A couple of things that I'm undecided on with regards to whether or not I like is number one, the jack location. It's right here, it's an angled jack on the back, and it's the same on my bossy guitar, but just growing up, I was used to guitars that the jack went in at the bottom, and I understand why it's not at the bottom on this guitar because you've got this cool cut here where you can actually play in a seated classical position, but that's just something that I'm not sure if I really like that or not. The other thing that I'm undecided on, which is just a personal preference thing, is the pickups. They are very articulate and they sound really well, but they're a little bit on the softer side in my opinion, and I tend to prefer a little bit of a higher output pickup. That's not the end of the world. If I really wanted to change the pickups, I could go ahead and do that, but that's just something that I'm undecided on right now. So why did I get this guitar and why would I recommend this guitar to you if you're interested in it? So I got this guitar for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to give Strandberg another chance. This is actually my second Strandberg guitar. The first one I got was the eight string original a few years ago, but I ended up letting it go because it wasn't really the eight string that I wanted. The eight string that I wanted at the time was unavailable. So I ended up getting that one. Um, overall, it wasn't like an uncomfortable guitar, but I do prefer that the eight string that I got, which is this Abasi guitar sitting behind me. So I wanted to give the brand another chance because I really liked what the brand was doing. Another reason why I wanted to get this guitar is because it's super compact and it's easy to travel with. Just a quick side note about the case. It comes with the Venture bag, which I guess I didn't realize, which isn't the big deal ahead of time, but I was expecting to get a case that had the straps where you can put it on your shoulder. Uh, the Venture bag does not come with that. Uh, the standard bag does, but it just comes with like handles that you can carry it. That's no big deal, but just something to note in case you do get this guitar. Um, but it's super lightweight and easy to travel with, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this guitar. So this has been my review of the Strandberg Bowden Prague NX6 Plenty Edition guitar. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like the way it looks? Did you like the way it sounded through my rig or not really your thing? Either way, it's totally fine. I do recommend you check out this guitar if you do get the chance or if you're interested in trying a headless guitar, specifically a Strandberg, because I think this is one of the cooler ones that they have on offer. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, stay cool like a cloud and have a great day.